On top of all of that, we have some races locally that are also still too close with absentee counting not starting until next week. So what's happening next here? To your sides, Dave McKinley has been looking at one very tight race in western New York that is still too close to call. When it comes to state legislative races, the odds of unseating an incumbent are long. But Frank Smearzak, saying in part it was because he was sick and tired of yelling at the TV, decided to test those odds by running for state assembly in the 143rd district, which encompasses Lancaster and Cheektowaga. By the time the smoke cleared last night, the votes cast at the polls yesterday, along with those lodged through early voting, were counted. He found himself leading the incumbent Democrat, incumbent Monica Wallace, by a little over 2,300 votes. This does not shock him. You know what? We put in the work, so no, it doesn't. Wallace has not conceded, nor might she be expected to. After all, there are more than 11,000 yet to be counted ballots that were mailed in, and we can report that 6,400 of those came from registered Democrats, about three times as many as the 2,000 or so, which were from members of his party. He's not worried about it. I know I have family members that are registered Democrat for decades, and they vote straight red every election. So this is a district with conservative values, and that's what they want to see in the representatives. So I know that I embody those conservative values 100%. Add to the mix another 2,700 absentee ballots received from voters unaffiliated with either major party and another 1,800 that had been requested and may come in through the mail soon, all of which won't be counted for two weeks. And it leaves this race a toss-up until then. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.